52 shillings was what stood between my dream and I. Less than a pound, less than a dollar, less than a euro. But to me, it might have well been 52 million shillings. Contest chair, judges, toastmasters and dear guests, some dreams do not cost millions, but just 52 shillings. It all began when one day a man came to our university and he confused and captivated me with his public speaking skills. Like a crazy fan, I sacrilegiously stalked him until I asked him about his gift of the gab. He told me he was a toastmaster. Toast what? I had never heard of the term, but I didn't care. Toastmaster, smoky master, giffery master. As long as I got to be just like him. So I got myself invited to one of the meetings. And boy, was I hypnotized and mesmerized at their dedication to building speakers and communicators, but disappointed at the same time. I did not have the 3,000 Kenyan shillings joining fee. A small voice, nasty, whispered in my head. Give up. But you see, I had a dream. I could see myself on stage teaching and inspiring others. How could I let that dream go? How could I? So I starved myself. I went on what they call the Toastmaster Membership Fundraising Diet. <laughs> yes, Apollo Noodles and Skumawiki did the trick. I saved up and I got the money and I signed up. That is when my speaking journey began. Speech by speech, I improved drastically. Speech by speech, I became a better version of myself. Speech by speech, I gained more confidence. And then, boom, everything came crashing down. I had my final speech to deliver, but I did not have 52 shillings to pay for the bus ticket, to take me from Vakwa where I lived, to Port Louis where the meeting was taking place. 52 shillings I did not have. That small nasty voice in my head came back wailing like a fat opera lady. It told me, you were a fool to pursue that dream. You wasted your time and money from the start. You are a silly little girl with silly big dreams. So I contemplated writing, and I said to myself, the next day I would tell the club to cancel my membership, cancel my speaking slot. I was sobbing, crying. I felt crushed, annihilated. And in that moment, I remembered my little brother's toy truck. You see, my mom used to buy my little brother expensive toy red trucks. And his idea of playing with them was lifting them up and crushing them to the ground and watching them scatter into millions of pieces. So my mom, being an African mom, she got a solution. She decided to buy him a cheap old little red truck. So she took it home and gave it to him. And of course, he lifted it up and crushed it. It didn't break. The second day, he lifted it up and crushed it more forcefully to the ground. Vroom, it went. One week, two weeks, two months, one year. That little truck would go vroom, vroom, vroom. It never died. That little old cheap red truck was the story of my life. I was the truck. I was lifted up and broken by many challenges. But I did not break and I will not break. I will do that speech whatever it takes. I did not care if I had to walk three hours from Bakwa to Port Louis. I searched my room, every corner, every cupboard, every dirty little sock until I found that 52 shillings and got the bus ticket. Ross Medley, Barack Obama, Martin Luther King, move aside. Here comes Natalie Mkundane Cham Tetera. I did that speech. 
But I did even more than that. I successfully completed my competent communicator's manual. And I continued my Toastmasters journey to be a member of the prestigious Nairobi Kwanzaa Toastmasters. And I stand before you here today, ladies and gentlemen, as a member of this prestigious contest with this final parting message. You see, the deadliest killing animal in the world is the tiny mosquito. In pursuit of our dreams, we often imagine ourselves gladiators conquering lions and mountains. But no, 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 no. It is the small, tiny, insignificant pebbles that hurt us and have us falling flat face onto the ground. Tenacity is a muscle. You have to build it so strong that you're able to conquer hurdles like Mount Everest or even hurdles as small as 50 two shillings. Each of us here today has a 52 shilling hurdle that is standing between you and your dreams. Conquer it and the world will be yours. Thank you.